Hey guys, 22nd cut on the throttle body injection mess. What I did is I put more of a concave ramp on the center of the cylinder side of our screw port. As of right this minute, this really doesn't look very much different than it was. Okay, our liquid looks pretty good. It's definitely thinner and straighter than we had earlier in the development. Okay, we do have a decent wide swath coming down into the bore. That does look a little bit different. Okay, the 208 with a 50 looks pretty much like it did last time we looked at it. And this looks very similar to what we had last time. But we did have some pluses and minuses as far as our flows. Let's take a look down its throat and we'll move to that. Okay, this looks pretty good from what I can see. You can see how much I took a huge piece out of that uh, left side. And it has a, the whole thing is concave shape at this point. Let me show you. Okay, I'm going to try to one hand this for you guys. Okay, this is a curve up, right? And this is a curve this way. This is the deepest point here. What was interesting is I did a little string action and sometimes the string will follow right up this curve and then it'll fight to get around this side. A lot of the air still wants to go around the high helix. Even though our air speeds at the roof here are definitely slower than they were. It's a very interesting design and I'm, I'm fighting with myself whether this edge needs to be easier for the air to get around or more aimed to go up this way since this is this is the unshrouded part of the bowl okay i'm going to try to get some light reflection so you guys can see where i'm going with this okay the point is let's see if i can one hand this and show you guys and i think i explained this before Right. I'm trying to get this air to come out the ramp and come out more of an angle like this. Right. Instead of going this way and banging into the air coming up this swirl ramp, I'd like them to combine more. I'd like them to combine more. So I, I'm thinking more and more of taking a Shed's advice where I would change this, this angle here and have it come up more abruptly. To this. I haven't decided yet. Stevie's bugging me to put a 2.1 in, but I'm not done fiddling with the 20850. I actually have clay on the short side radius. It doesn't look great because it's clay. It's whatever it is. In any case, they're still pretty damn good. So let's move on. Okay, let's see if we can see anything on here. It's tough to get you decent pictures, guys. But I'm doing the best I can with what I got. Okay, and I just take a quick look at our liquid coming all the way up. It actually shows some liquid on on the short side going up as well. We do have interesting action on the short side with the string. It definitely seems to be working. Okay, you can see where we're getting a, a splatter of blue right on the short side before she goes around. Okay, cut 22 was a concave ramp. We're at cut 23 concrete, concave ramp number two deeper. On the last uh, video I posted, I actually said convex. That was a mistake. It's concave. Okay, so 23 pluses and minuses in reference to this. How do we do? Well, hit or miss. Plus, minus, plus, plus, plus equals, minus, plus, plus, plus. Overall, it maxes out at one inch at 311.4. At 300, we got a little bit of a step up, but then again, this has a better short side radius. It's still clay with my fingers all over it, but this was missing a piece. So that makes sense to me. We got a couple 
in and out here. This one went down a touch. 275 at 500 is a solid number. 295 at 600 is a solid number. Let's see what we did as far as our swirl. So these pluses and minuses are in reference to these. So you would think... Now, we're completely changing the angle that the two Airstreams interface at. So I'm thinking maybe a lot of this curve will go up because they're, they're meeting at a different angle. So what do we got? Minus, 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 minus. Okay, at the lower lifts. Plus, 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 plus. And then at the very top, minus, minus, minus. So... We have to kind of figure it. All right, we're going to go 600 plus. We got 292,934 verse 2582. It's a little fast still. It is a nice progression. In reality, I like I like this. This isn't bad. I do want to see if I do more work in the same vein, maybe a third cut on that concrete concave ramp, if that will help. It's worth trying. It's the junk head, right? Before I cut it for a 2.1. I really want to I really want to squeeze the 208 as much as I can. All right, as far as our pinch, our pinch changed quite a bit. It went from 280 to 228. Okay, now this is at 600 lift. The pinch was rocking fast at one inch. As we're, we're 311, the pinch was 306 feet per second. So that is that is starting to cause a restriction at the higher lifts. So I'm not opposed to taking some more area out of that. I haven't touched the, the center wall really, so we're good. So we got a minus plus plus as far as our pinch. Let me move this page around so you can see the uh, roof and short side radius speeds. Okay, cut 22, cut 23. How'd we do? Well, we lost a little speed center of the cylinder, but we gained a nice amount around the cylinder wall side. Now remember, we changed the way the air is going to interfere with itself. So it's going to it's going to change our speeds. There's no doubt about it. Interesting what happened on the short side, though. Take a look. We went from 318 to 308, right? 296 to 318, right? They almost swapped, swapped sides. And we lost a little bit of speed right in the middle. Now, remember, this has a different short side because it actually has some clay on it this time. In any case... It's not a bad setup just the way it is. If we're uh, if we're pushing our luck over 600 lift, we can still make some power with this. I don't think anyone gave me any horsepower estimate estimations with that kind of flow versus what we were doing on the uh, exhaust port. The exhaust port, I could still put a bigger port in. Even if I use a smaller valve, I should be able to get that to rock pretty good. I'm not really worried about the exhaust. I am worried about our liquid flow, but I don't think it's I don't think it's that bad. I think we just got to keep an eye on it, and uh, at some point I'm going to have to review what we did and and uh, see which one I like the best. Now, the one where I have the ramp aimed right at the plug, that was a pretty good curve. I may have to com compare those two together. All right, guys. Let me see if I can find that one for you. Okay, I think it's this one. Don't kill me if I'm wrong, but it's always good. It's always good to go back and and compare some numbers and see see how you're doing. Well, now this was 21st, right? I filled the bolt hole at that point, and we got less peak flow, but we were up quite a bit at 300. Okay, we've gotten some of that back at this point. Okay, we did a little better here, we did a little better there, did a little better here, a little better here, a little better here, a little better here. 
a little better here, a little better here, better here, better here, better here, better here, better here. So it goes back and forth. So at that point, I think you need to pay attention to what your liquid's doing. Now I would have to go back and check the video and see if we were, I think we were wider over here. So that still may be the way to go. And remember, it's easy to take this one and bring it back to this with a little clay action, but I kind of like it with the iron because I can get the iron shape just the way I want. Clay, eh, not nearly as good with clay. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.